This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us stand, praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Oh, 
Let's say another day. Yes, thank Lord. you, Lord. A day in which we never said before. Wow. Yeah. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Then, Lord, we thank you for your son, Jesus. Yeah. Yes, Lord. You so love the world, you such your son. Yes, Lord. You might have eternal life. Yes. Lord, he suffered, he bled, he died. Yes. Yes. On the third day, he rose from the dead. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. He rose that we might, if we trust and believe in him, Lord, we might have eternal life. Yes, Lord. Lord, and we just come thanking you and praising you this day. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Lord, Father, we come to serve you this morning. Yes, Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, we come looking for a blessing, Lord. Yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, help us to love one another. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. To love our neighbor, to love our friends, to love our family. Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lord, we just thank you for all you do for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord, Heavenly Father, we come this morning realizing that you are being in control. Mm -hmm. yes. Whatever going on around us, Lord, you are in control. Yes, yes. 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 Again, Lord, we ask you to bless all the ones on the side of our back. Yes. 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 Bless the ones that would like to be here, Lord, but they can't be here. And then, Lord, we ask you to we pray for those ones that don't care, careless, unconcerned, don't care what's going on. Yeah. They might have forgot about their home church, Lord. But they yeah. might have forgot about praying and serving you, Lord. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, touch their heart, touch their mind, Lord. Yeah. Them, Lord. And bring them back, Lord. When the doors are open in this church, Lord, bring them back home. Yeah. And Lord, thank you. We yeah. pray you yeah. again, Lord. And Lord, we pray for the bereaved family, for the one. Yes. Yes. Lord, let them realize, Lord, that you are too just to make a mistake, Lord. Yes. 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 Keep them, Lord. And then, Lord, we just praise you and glorify you. Yes. Lord, we ask you to continue blessing our pastor and his family. They try to yes. make God yes. as he deal with all kinds of situations, Lord, in his, body, yes. in his ministry. Lord. Just bless him and keep him, Lord. Yes. And then, Lord, again, we praise you and glorify you, Lord. Lord, we pray for this land and this country. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, we need you, Lord. There's so much going on, Lord. Sometimes we just don't understand. Lord. Yeah. 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 Keep us, sustain us, Lord. Lord, bless our president, Lord. Yes. Yeah. Lord bless our yeah. Congress, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, you test your mind and make the right decision and do the right thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now, Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this community. Yeah. The little neighborhoods around the church, all over. Lord. Bless from the county, the city, the state, and over to this nation. Bless this nation. We need you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. We need you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. We pray for our military, our military personnel. Yes, bless yes, yes. Bless their families, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Bring them back home safely, Lord. And then, Lord, thank you, I praise you, and glorify you, Lord. Well, the Father, we come to the end of our journey. Mm -hmm. We ask you to give us a home as I came forever and ever. In Jesus' name, we bless you. Jesus. Amen. 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 At the church. At the church.
service today. We want to welcome you one and all and remind everyone that morning worship is at 11 a.m. Um, next, we want to do praise reports and prayer requests. Any praise reports in the building today? Well, for one, I praise God that everyone is here today and I got to see all of y'all's beautiful faces. Amen. Any other praise reports? Any prayer requests? Well, let's remember to pray for our seniors and bereaving families. The announcements are as follows. Um, Congratulations to the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Roberts. Um, uh, do, do, sorry. Um, Randy Roberts? Yes, okay. Uh, congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Randy Roberts. Um, um, students go back to school Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. And then on Saturday, January 8th, um, Greater Bethel is in charge of the soup kitchen. Let's come out and help all those in need. That is all the announcements I have for y'all. Remember, there's nothing you can do to make God stop loving you. He loves you more than you'll ever know. And he proves it in John 3 and 16. Back in the hands of the pulpit. Amen. 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 It's so good to have Sister Rachel Roberts back with us. Amen. 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 Uh, for those of you I did not reach out to on yesterday or did not see the post on Facebook, Greater Bethel's page, Merry Christmas to all of you. Oh man, that was weak. Let's try that again. Let me try that again. To all of you who did not get a chance to see the post on yesterday, I did not get a chance to reach out to you. Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry Christmas. Now y'all sound like a house full of family. Amen. It's so good to see all of you with us this morning. We pray that your Christmas was a blessed one. And if it wasn't, come see me after service. We'll talk about it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, on a heavier note, it saddens me to announce this morning the passing of Brother Michael Washington. Amen. He came to us about two years ago to help us with the choir, organizing, and um, he is no longer with us. He passed away on um, December the 24th, Christmas Eve. Um, and it was very unexpected. He uh, went to the hospital to have a procedure done and they released him and he was waiting on his ride. While he was waiting, he fell and uh, they were unable to resuscitate him. So with that being said, let us keep his family in prayer. Amen. 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 He was very near and dear to the uh, family. Uh, even after service, he'd hang out with us sometime. And uh, we just want to tell his family that we love you and that we are here if you need us. Amen. Amen. At this time, are there any other announcements, anything that needs to be said? Nothing? We thank God for each and every one of you. May God ever continue to bless you, and may heaven smile upon you as we go into the new year. Amen. 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 There's nothing else. We want to ask that the officers come, help us with our tithe and offering. While they're doing that, we want to ask that the musicians give us a traveling music. And while they're doing that, we want to ask that the choir get themselves ready. And after the choir comes, we'll come back and do what's in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to say good morning to everyone. Truly, the Lord has been good. He's blessed us and kept us. It's <clears throat> time we to give what's due, what, <clears throat> what's due to him. Everybody on my right stand, everybody on my left stand. If you don't feel like walking, <clears throat> we'll be glad to walk for you.
Today, as we discover this text, we find, first of all, that these are the words that Jesus spoke to the disciples on the mountain after leaving the crowd down below. In other words, this is a part of the Sermon on the Mount. We learn there was much that Jesus had taught during his sermon. He taught the Beatitudes. He taught on the subject of anger, divorce, retaliation, and the Lord's Prayer along with many other things. I can imagine how intense that sermon may have been. I can imagine how long and how detailed that sermon may have seemed. I can imagine the importance of the words that were being spoken on that day. But I can't imagine all of the disciples remembering every single solitary word that Jesus had spoken that day. But each of them realized and recognized something that stuck out or resonated with them in their spirit. And so I put myself in the shoes of one of those 12 disciples, listening to the sermon on the mount. And the one thing that stands out to me more than anything else is a strong foundation or a on a rock. My brothers and my sisters, the key to any successful venture is to make sure that you have a strong foundation. Amen. Many of us think money is a strong foundation, but money runs out. Amen. Many of us think that friends and family is a strong foundation, but friends and Why? Because our foundation 
is monumental. Our foundation is a mountain, and we know that if our foundation is a mountain, we ain't going nowhere. The Bible says, and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat that house. But it did not fall because it was founded on the rock. Amen. Now understand this. The rain fell. You had some bad days. The wind blew. You had some pressures. And all of these things beat your house. You've been battered, you've been beaten, but you have not been abandoned. But your house did not fall. You didn't give up and you didn't give out. Because your house, because you, because your spirit, because your mindset was founded on the rock, was founded on Christ Jesus, was founded on the Lord. Christ Jesus, my rock and my salvation. Christ Jesus, the stone that the builders refuse. Christ Jesus, my rock and my weary land. Amen. You were founded on the rock. Yeah. Is why your house continues to stay. The Bible continues and it says, and everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. Amen. We've heard the story in the beginning of the sermon of the young man that built his house on sand and then when it began to rain and the floods came, his house was swept away. Look at your neighbor and say, he said foolish. Look at your other neighbor and say, he said foolish. Foolish man. Yes, foolishness is the lack of good sense. Foolishness is the lack of foresight. In other words, a lot of us are dealing with some foolishness right now. Foolishness, sometimes we make it our friend. You know you got some of other, our friends out there who are always in the midst of some problems. They're, they're always dealing with some foolishness. Every time you turn around, there's some foolishness going on. Every time you look for them, they're in the middle of some foolishness. Something that don't make sense. Something that doesn't have foresight. A lot of us today, we're sitting right here in the midst of some foolishness. Because we don't have a strong foundation. A lot of us make foolishness our friend, but my brothers and my sisters, today I'm here today to tell you that foolishness is not your friend. Amen. Family, some of us right now has pushed the rock out of the way and begin to build on some sand. Amen. Some of us know that we got some good things going on. Some of us know that we got a sound foundation. Some of us know that everything is working just as according to plan. But some of us, because things are going so well, we push the good stuff out of the way just so we can deal with some foolishness. We do that in our relationships too. Oh, he too good to be true. And he don't never get no trouble. He don't drink. He don't smoke. He don't do. He always on time. He always taking care of me. Oh, he a Mr. Goody Two Shoe. I'm tired of that. I want something new. Give me one of them bad boys out there that deal dope and always go to jail. I want to have a thrill in my life. Men, likewise, we do the same thing. You got a woman that's home taking care of everything, watching over the children, loving you, honoring you, giving you the things that you need to make your life more stressful. And then we walk out the door and say, what's that going on now over there? And that looked pretty good. Because it got some hills and valleys and mountains. But I'm here today to tell you that the grass ain't greener on the other side. That's foolishness.
And the Bible says the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell. And great was the fall of it. Most of the time when you're dealing in foolishness, you have a great fall. We are the humpy dumpies of the world. Huh. All the king horses, all the king men couldn't put us back together again because we were dealing in some foolishness. We build on things that God says is not of him. And when we have those storms, when we have those floods, when we have those, those, those winds, when we get beaten, when we get battered, when we have that fall, we cry out against God and declare that God doesn't care. Amen. No, no, no. God cares, but it is us who keep dealing with the foolishness. Amen. I can say this. I've gone through the fire. And I've been through the flood. I've been broken into pieces. I see lightning flashing from above. But through it all, I remember that he loves me and he cares. And he'll never put more on me than I can be. There is a key phrase in this text this morning that will unlock the door to our missteps. The Bible declares that everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on a rock. Amen. Everyone who hears and does these words of mine. This is Jesus talking to the disciples here in the Bible. Everyone that hears and does these words of mine. In other words, you won't have no problems. You got a strong foundation. You'll be able to there. The problem today is that we hear the words that Jesus is speaking through the month. We hear the words that Jesus is speaking through the week. We hear the words that Jesus speaks through the day. But when it is our time to do the words that Jesus speaks, some way or another, we forget those words. My brothers and my sisters, if you want to be blessed, doers of the word. If you want to be blessed, hearers of a word. I want you to understand one thing today. A workman is worthy of his meat. Know that great is thy reward in heaven. All we got to do is listen. When we build on the rock, we can look forward to accomplishing our goals. When we build on Christ Jesus, we can look forward to accomplishing our goals. When we build our rock, we are cultured and forged in the fire to get through the rough things. When we build on the rock, a family will stand for generations and generations. When we build on the rock, our soul will be anchored in the Lord. When we build on the rock, we have life and have it more abundantly. When we build on the rock, we realize that he died so that you and I might have a right to the tree of life. When we build on the rock, we know that we are taken care of. Amen. Nothing for you to worry about, nothing for you to care about, because tomorrow we'll worry about itself. Yeah, amen. Our foundation is important. Our foundation leads us to the next level. Hmm. When you're building a house, you dig the footing. You put the foundation down, the concrete. You make it strong and you make it stable in the ground so that if a strong wind comes, it won't blow your house over. That when it rains, when it floods, your house is founded strongly in the ground. You won't have these problems. Today, my brothers and sisters, I beg you, I plead you, that when you hear the words of the Lord, right. that you adhere to them, that you do these words. Amen. And you will find that life is a whole lot sweeter when you're more obedient Amen. to your Father. Amen. Amen. I'm going to take you here and then I'm through. When you were little, and your mom and your dad or your mom or your dad or your dad or your mom told you that if you make the honor roll, 
If you do your work, if you bring home A's and B's, you ain't got a thing to worry about. Amen. Mm. If you constantly do your chores, I will give you an allowance. You will not be punished and you don't have anything to worry about. Amen. And then one day, we didn't do the work. And one day, we didn't do our chores. And one day, we didn't do what we were supposed to do. And we were punished severely. You didn't get what you needed. Daddy cut the breaker off in your room so you couldn't have lights up in your video game. Huh? Now you only had to take the trash out once a day. Now you got to take the trash out in every room every two to three hours. Daddy makes it rough on you. Mama makes it rough on you when you do not listen. But somebody say but. But when you do this, everything is sweeter. This is what God is saying to us today. You build on a strong foundation. You hear my words. You do my words. Life will be sweet. I'm not telling you you're not going to fall and get hurt. But I am telling you that when you fall and get hurt, I'll make sure I put a good band-aid on it and make sure that you're healed properly. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, today, if you don't do anything else, if you don't get nothing else from this sermon, make sure that your house is built on a rock. Amen. Which is Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us stand all over the sanctuary. The doors of the church are open. There may be someone who is out of the ark of safety. Maybe someone who is looking for a strong foundation. We give you the opportunity right now to come. You may want to join the church may want to be saved, may want to be baptized, we give you the opportunity right now to walk down the aisle. Put your hand in my hand and give your heart to God. With everyone today, maybe someone has been praying for a long time, feel like your prayers are not being answered, we give you the opportunity to come right now. Oh, yeah. 